The whole world has shifted here. And now we're talking about the dance of the visual impression, the music of the distribution of effects. <laughs> and that's when things start getting more interesting. To make this color right, you don't just make this right. You make this right to, to this red and to that red. These reds are playing music. You know, the thing I have to make clear right from the beginning is that there are two roads in painting historically, right? The old road was a story, it was a, it was a storytelling road. This is the world of illustration. You draw outlines around characters. You draw outlines a second character. You, you organize them on a screen and you paint them up so they look like they're talking to each other. That's the old school. That's the old way. Eventually, what happens, though, is that people are unsatisfied. Velasquez being a per, just a perfect example. People, painters, who've learned that way, are unsatisfied with the truth of the representation. Yeah, the story's there, fine. But anybody with an eye, and most painters do have their sense of beauty does come from using their eyes, looking at things in nature. Anybody with that kind of an eye begins to wonder, is this really giving me as much truth as I could get out of what I see before me? Well, that sets us up the sec with the second road. The second road is the, what's now called the Impressionist Road. And that whole world then sets up a whole new way of working. You're now working with just the stuff of the eyes what the right color is in the right place, what the right values are in relation to each other. And it's just simply the dance and the play of color and light in relation to each other on a screen. Just this to this and that to that. It's a totally new world. You're not learning anatomy anymore. You're not drawing objects anymore. You get to the object. You actually get to a very, very good likeness. Velasquez actually brings this Impressionism in as a, as a, as a, as a, as a portrait painter. He sits the guy down. His job is to do a likeness, and he finds there are better ways. You know, the better way is what we now today call Impressionism. And so he's referred to, of course, as the um, first Impressionist. So again, there's the portrait painter. A couple shots here just of, of Velasquez painting portraits. When you see these two paintings coming out of that era, you sense just the truth of those likenesses. I remember the day as a young student in an Impressionist classroom in New York. It was Robert Brackman's class. I remember the day he would be teaching us the Impressionist way of thinking, this note to that note, spots of color. And we never quite grasped what he was after until one day he pointed to a canvas standing on the floor in the corner of the room and he said, there, somebody has finally painted the light. And I looked over there and sure enough, it was glowing forth, literally coming forth off the canvas. You know, like, yeah, somebody had portrayed light. We were now talking about, we'd been trying to paint figures and people and all this stuff, and suddenly this guy woke us up. I mean, it seriously woke us up. Pictures just are now coming to life. And these are six uh, Monets. The intrigue is endless, but it's strictly visual. What you're trying to learn to see is color relations, chroma relations, size relations, in the same exact way as if you'd say the notes of the ta-ta-ta-ta of, 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 of Beethoven. These notes at the right time in relation to each other on a, on a line, right? That's true of Every color note in a picture, that's true of every size, it's true of every effect, it's true of every angle. I mean, there is no end to the music that's latent in a, in a visual world once you accept the idea that that's what seeing is. If you want to really master the visual world, actually render with authority a nose, light, atmosphere, or anything else the eye can see, get your head around what I'm talking about. In these videos, I think you'll find what you haven't been able to find anywhere else. Thanks. See you there.